But make sure those bases are all clean and ready to go. And where's the man who mans first base? He should be out any minute now. Oh, there he is. Number 20. Pete Alonso, first, Pete. first baseman. Taiwan Walker, his last start was against the Brewers. Got a loss in six innings pitched with four earned runs allowed. And he hits a three hopper to shortstop, and Lindor is there to throw out Birdie for the first down. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. So Walker with a strikeout for the second out. So he's got the combination of the down and in. And Anderson bounces one down to third, and Escobar is there to grab it. And that retires the side. So a 1 2 3 opening inning for Taiwan Walker with a couple of ground ball outs. Mets come to bat with no score. Numbers on Luzardo, 17th start of the season, coming off a no decision against the Cubs. Marlins had the lead, blew the lead, lost the game, facing the Mets for just the second time this season. This Marlins team has lost his last eight starts, but you can't put it on Luzardo. And a bouncer up the first baseline. Luzardo gets to it and then has to scoot out of the way of the hustling Nimmo. Luzardo ahead here, and he's going to get the strikeout. A ball in the dirt, but Alonzo offered at it. They ask it first, and yes, says Marvin Hudson. He swung. He chased the breaking ball to strike out. First punch out of the ball game. And Lindor hooks one to left field, falling down for a base hit. So the Mets have their first base runner of the night. And that follow through with the one hand reminded me Carlos Beltran in the days from the right side. There's a ground ball to third base up with it Groshans fires on to first for the out that ends the inning. That's all for the Mets in the first no runs a hit they leave a man as Brian De La Cruz stands in the 2-0 to De La Cruz is ripped down the left field line Brian De La Cruz has himself another hit kicks off the sidewall out to Canna and a strong throw into second is going to keep De La Cruz at first base. How in the world does he not get a double there? Feet spread wide apart. Left hand hitter. The one two pitch swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a fastball. And Walker has his second strikeout. And Stallings pops one up. Should be easy for Alonzo at foul ground. And Pete one hands it to end the inning. The hit and one left. John Birdie waiting on deck. And Diaz goes down swinging on a high fastball. And Walker's got his third strikeout. So Walker's being very judicious. That's held him down in the last series in Miami. And he's 0 for 6 so far in this series. And it's in there for a call strike three. Fastball caught the outside corner at the letters. And Walker's got his fourth strikeout through the first three. Still no score. Nito's been hot lately, hitting 382 on one two. A swing and a miss. And he struck up another changeup. So Jesus Luzardo with his second strikeout in the game. 2 2 pitch. Alonzo a foul tip into the catcher's mid. Stallings hangs on to complete the strikeout. So it's a 1 2 3 third. First perfect inning for Luzardo. As Charles LeBlanc digs in, Miami hit leaders since his debut. He's got 39 hits leading the way. 2-1 LeBlanc ground ball to third. Under the backhand stab of Escobar down the line. LeBlanc headed to second base and he's in there standing. It's still 0-0 man at second. Two down. The Marlins get Brian De La Cruz up there. Their hottest hitter. It'll be interesting to see if they kind of pitch around Brian here because he's so hot. And De La Cruz lifts one out to right center field. Well hit. Back goes Nemo in the gap and it's out of here. Brian De La Cruz. Red hot hitter. His 12th home run of the year a two run shot and the Marlins jump in front for a second straight night it's two nothing Miami and he just is red red hot and he strikes out all day with a splitter to end the inning five strikeouts for Walker but De La Cruz strikes with two out for a two run homer and it's two nothing Miami no Taiwan Walker understandably upset after giving up the two run homer to Brian De La Cruz that was my style take it down in the Bowels of the stadium. Stallings fouled the first in his first day B here. He lines one into center field, a base hit to begin the Miami fifth. Stallings has really turned his season around since just after the All Star break. The 1 2 check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did on appeal to first. Groshans is punched out by first base up Marvin Hudson. Pitch to Diaz, hit hard to the right side, and past the diving Lindor and into right center field for a base hit. So Stalling stops at second, and Diaz is on at first with a one out single. Taiwan has struck out six tonight. Make it seven as he takes care of Birdie for the second time. Two out. Well, we said that uh, from the beginning that Walker had good stuff tonight. Eighth pitch of the at bat. Runners go again. Breaking ball missed in. That was a good, good take by LeBlanc. So Jeremy Hefter out for a conversation. Game very much on the line here in the fifth inning. Mets offense has not gotten rolling at all in this series. Because now the bases are loaded with two out and Brian Anderson will be the batter. Base runners will be on the move. Here's the pitch. Swung out and missed strike three. Walker hangs tough and gets Anderson with a split. 
and the Marlins leave them loaded. Sixth inning, Nick Fortes made two first pitch outs. They'll ask, and he held up. Walker not thrilled with uh, Marvin Hudson over there. One two pitch, De La Cruz, ground ball by the third baseman. Down the left field line again. Extra bases for De La Cruz. He's three for three. What a night. What a tear for Brian De La Cruz. And now Buck Walter will make the move to Lugo. So Walker unable to get an out in the sixth will take his exit. Marlins on top two to nothing. They have Fortes at third, De La Cruz at second. Nobody out. J.J. Blade is coming up. This one's hit out toward left. And along the line, it'll be deep enough to score Fortes. A sack fly for J.J. Blade, and the Marlins take a 3-0 lead. All right, big inning here for Jesus Luzardo. Bottom of the sixth, he's got a 3-0 lead. He's in there for a called strike three. Great pitch there by Luzardo. His fourth strikeout. And it works to perfection. Another strikeout, back-to-back -back Ks. Five in the game for Luzardo. Call strike three strikes out the side perfect pitch down and in the two three four men Alonzo Lindor and Canna three balls two strikes and two outs Hugo lost him on ball four now a chance for Anderson who came into this one six for 13 in his last three games but he's hit listen three tries tonight Brian Anderson sends one out toward left center field hit pretty well and that one's going to one hop the wall LeBlanc getting the green light around third. Lindor's got it. His throw comes home. It's late. An RBI double. Brian Anderson. Marlins take a 4 nothing lead. Way to make him pay, Andy. That two-out walk comes back to hurt Seth Lugo. So McNeil aboard at first. Eduardo Escobar. Now the batter. He's over for two. He's popped up a couple of times. Escobar hits one deep to left. Lede goes back, takes a look, and it's out of here. Eduardo Escobar gets the Mets off the mat with a two-run homer. Number 20 for Eduardo Escobar, and it's 4-2. to two. Well, that didn't take long. Been waiting all day for that. Scott ready. Here's the payoff pitch. Low ball four. That loads him up. He's walked three batters in the inning. He has walked three to load the bases. And now with two out, Eduardo Escobar hit a two-run homer. His last time up will be the batter. And Eduardo hits one on the ground. Base hit in the right field. Nimmo scores. Here comes Alonzo. Anderson's throw is offline, and the game is tied. Escobar comes through again. A two-run single to get the Mets even, and it's 4-4 four four in the eighth. The spectacular September for Eduardo Escobar just keeps getting sweeter. More important situation trying to keep this game tied in the ninth inning. Struck him out. Nasty slider from Diaz to get Groshans for the first down. One, two. Struck him out. Diaz. Fans Diaz. Two out. Oh, just overpowering these young Marlins hitters. Struck him out. Edwin Diaz strikes off the side of the top of the ninth. He's got the first down. He's ahead on Nito 0 and 2. And that's hit to center field. Hit well. Back goes De La Cruz. Going back. Warning track. It's over his head and off the wall. Nito heads to second. De La Cruz bobbles it. But Nito will settle for second base. A 405 foot double. All right, now looking to somebody else to play the hero in the ninth. And that's some Buddy is Lindor, who's hit in 13 straight games. And Francisco pops it up. Birdie on the outfield grass. Leaves way for LeBlanc, who makes the catch. And that retires the side, and we are going to extra inning. And now they're going to walk McNeil intentionally and bring up Escobar, who has driven in all four runs for the Mets tonight. And now we'll have a chance to drive in the winning run. And Eduardo punches one through the hole. Base hit. Here comes 